Yo, what's up everybody? Noah here and today I got a brand new video for you guys. Today we'll be discussing about GT5 Expand and Enhanced and why you shouldn't buy it. Let's begin with this video with the changes that Cockstar has made to this 8.5 year old game. As expected, the changes are not that big of a deal. If anything, they're ridiculous and they don't, they don't justify rebuying the same fucking game for the fourth time if you include PC. So the changes are 4K resolution, ray tracing, 60 FPS. You're gonna have three different modes to choose. Fidelity mode, which is all about graphics. Performance mode, which is all about frame rates. And then you're gonna have a third mode, which is a mix of both modes, which I guess it's cool to have, but who gives a shit at this point, right? right? You're also gonna have um, that Chinese dude, Hao, which is basically Los Santos Customs 2.0, basically. He's going to give you some special vehicle upgrades. Um, but those special vehicle upgrades go to specific vehicles. And those specific vehicles, as far as I remember, I could be wrong, but those specific vehicles that can get those special upgrades are like five, to five six vehicles. Woohoo, I guess. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, and they also have character transfer, which was a no-brainer. Like, if you thought that they would re-release the same game for the fourth time without giving you character transfer, you're a fucking idiot. Um, but, yeah, that, th th these are the changes. These are the fucking changes. Oh, yeah, one more thing which is irrelevant because most of you guys have already... You already have some sort of progress in this game, but if you're a new player, there's this new fucking thing called uh, Career Builder, which will allow you to... Well, start off GT Online with a business that you want and make things a little bit easy for you. Irrelevant shit. Now, let's be real. Anyone with half a fucking brain knows that this is not, this is not enough to, you know, resell the same fucking game. And w when it comes to pricing, we don't even know the pricing of this fucking game. Like the standalone version of GT Online could cost from twenty dollars to fucking. $40. That's my guess. Because let's be real, Coxter is a gritty company, they love money, and they know that ED is going to buy it no matter what, so even if they charge it $40, which is not worth it, they're still going to be idiots who are going to buy it and defend it. And that's the whole purpose of this video, to, to to basically prevent you from buying this game. This game is not worth the fucking money. This game is a fucking joke. And you can tell it's a fucking joke because we still have no fucking trailer. As of the recording of this video, March 5th, we still have no fucking trailer of this fucking game. We don't know how it looks. We don't know how it runs. We don't know how things gonna be in that fucking game, which, let's be real, it's not gonna be any different. It's the same fucking game, but not having a trailer just goes to show you that they have nothing to show you. It's the same fucking game. And PlayStation 5 users, they were kind of lucky because for the first three months, they were going to get it for free. And if you get it for free, you will have it forever, which means that you don't have to spend a penny for it, which is a good thing. Thank, thanks, Sony, for that deal. But Xbox players don't have that fucking luxury. If you want to play this game for some fucking reason, you got to buy it. And we don't know the pricing, like I said. So, if you buy this game, you're a fucking retard. Okay, I'm just gonna say it the way it is. You're a fucking retard if you buy this game. Most YouTubers don't want to see it because they're scared of getting demonetized. They're scared of hurting people's feelings. They're scared of cancel culture. I'm not scared of any of you motherfuckers. If you're a fucking retard, I'm gonna call you a retard. I'm, I don't give a fuck about your feelings. I don't give a fuck about, you know, cancel culture. And I'm not gonna sit there and be like, oh my god, I'm not gonna say that because it's rude. No. If you're a retard, you're a retard. End of the fucking case. And if you don't want to be called a retard, don't buy this game. It's not worth it. It's the same old game. It, it doesn't have anything new besides some generic bullshit, which is, again, 4K ray tracing 60 FPS. 60 FPS is a good thing. It's not generic, don't get me wrong, but 4K, who gives a shit? The game is old as fuck, and if anything, even in 4K, it's not going to look that good because it was built on the PS3. Like, the textures can go to a certain fucking level, they can't get any better. And I think that at this point, they have reached the... How do I say it? Like, they can't get any fucking beautiful, okay? That's it. You can't, get, you can't make the fucking textures and the fucking world look be more beautiful. The game is old as fuck. And instead of coming up with GTA 6, they're still releasing the same fucking game because, well, Rito's gonna buy it. Dumbass morons 
uh, and kids are going to buy shark parts instead of buying a Mario the Count for the same fucking price. And not only that, but you, you're still going to have idiots defending this game and be like, you don't have to buy it. You don't have to play it. Dude, look, this fucking attitude is what brought us to this fucking sad point. And the sad point is that, you know, it's 2022 when we don't have GT6. Like, when I transfer my account uh, on the PlayStation 4, I put $2.2 billion in my account because I assume that in 2020, we will have a GT6, you know, announcement. And in 2022, 2023, we're going to have GT6. But nothing. The only thing that Kalkstein has said about GT6 is that it's in the works, which was, like, how do I say it? It's basic common sense. There's no way that Cox is not going to be working on GT6. If GT5 made them so much money, what makes you think that they're not going to make GT6? But anyway, I hope you guys get the point of this video. Don't buy this game. Don't be a retard. Stop thinking with your feelings and start thinking with your brain. If you give Cockstar extra money for the same fucking game, just just for 60 FPS and 4K graphics, you're basically telling them, yeah, keep fucking us in the ass. We love it. Keep giving us those shitty fucking, you know, DLCs that die within a fucking week, if not faster. And don't patch game-breaking glitches, but patch glitches that don't harm anyone, like direct the mode outfit glitches. If you still buy this game, that's what you're basically saying. That's what you're basically fucking telling to Cockstar. Keep fucking us in the ass. You know, don't fix the game. Don't do anything. Just do what you're doing right now. Ignore the fans. Keep the game broken. And make the game sheer by introducing vehicles that nobody asked for. If you want to change that, don't buy this game. Let that game die. The game is eight. And like I said in the beginning, the game is eight and a half years old. It's time for this game to die. And it's, start, it, it's time for fucking fanboys and retards to stop buying this game and actually make a fucking change. Don't speak with your fucking mouth. Speak with your fucking wallet. Don't buy this game. Make a difference. And maybe, just maybe, we'll get GTA 6 sooner. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Keep it peaceful out there. And for the love of God, start thinking with your head and not with your feelings. Peace.